This retails for $35. So let's get into the Dollar Tree items. I found quite a few stuff. So I'm just going to show you pretty quickly through this one. A canvas. We've all seen these before. Most of this stuff's going to be DIY stuff. Uh, I found this fern. Uh, I've never seen this style at my Dollar Tree. So it has five different ones. I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cute. We'll see what kind of plant I, or planter I use for it. I found these fridge storage bins. Look at this. Okay. So it has this cute little like handle on the bottom. It has these lines for a nice like grip on the fridge. So I thought that was pretty nice, but this would be great for like storing maybe all your condiments or something that you have a lot of smaller items that go to the back of the fridge, you know, and you could just pull it forwards like a little drawer almost. But I picked up three of these. My, this is new to my Dollar Tree because mine always gets stuff a bit later than other Dollar Trees, it seems like. <laughs> uh, let's see, I got, oh, I picked up some of these paint brushes. You get two pieces. I thought these, these look pretty decent to work with. And two for a dollar, not bad. I got one of these cups with this plate you guys know you just saw my video on my mother's day gift item i'm actually going to be creating another one a different version for my home um this will be the top part this will be the bottom you just flip the cup upside down and glue them together and this is what it's going to look like i just think it looks so high-end and elevated so this is going to be really cute i think it'll be in my kitchen that should be a pretty easy DIY. <laughs> uh, I picked up a squeegee. Okay, the squeegee. You guys, if you have cats or even dogs and you get hair all over the couch, all over anything really, and you just have a hard time vacuuming it up, I have a hack for you with the squeegee. This thing's awesome for getting hair off of your couch. So, I found this hack on, I don't remember where, I saw it in a video, they had this, like, rubbery, squeegee looking thing that had combs, or combs, like, little bristles that were all rubber, but I figured, why wouldn't a squeegee work? Even though it's flat, it still works. I've already tried it, and I love it. Okay, so let's go over here and check this out. Okay, so I always get, like, cat hair up here above the couch so you could just take your squeegee and literally go like this over and over in the same spot and as you can see it starts to gather all the little hairs that are sitting there on your couch and yeah you're not really ruining the couch or anything like that and it's just scooping up all the little hairs as you can see right there isn't that amazing and you don't have to spend a lot of money on the sticky, rolling sticky things. But see, I have a bunch of hair that gets all over here. Look at this. Isn't that amazing, you guys? That's just nasty. But hey, I'm just telling you, if you're a pet owner, the squeegee trick is definitely a game changer when it comes to cleaning up your home. I also found another piece of like uh, floral. This just says greenery on it. <laughs> greenery. I like that these pieces look a little bit fuzzy. The color, it looks more realistic to me. So I thought that was kind of cute. I could make something. It has a little like fern pieces in there. Oh, I can see it was missing one of the floral things, but that's fine with me. I picked up some of these faux moss stones. I don't have any of these. I've never worked with them, but they kind of look high-end to me. So I thought maybe getting some of these to kind of work with a project. I don't know. We'll see what I do with them. I'll have to look up ideas on Pinterest or something. And then here is just a scrubber. I figured I got, I got the scrubber just in case the squeegee didn't work out. I was going to use this to kind of brush everything 
but these bristles are really hard, hard plastic, so they could end up scratching or snagging your couch. So I don't really recommend that product for that. <clears throat> okay, and then here I got some Palo. I got two things of the Palo, Palo Santo smell. It's just oil you put in like a diffuser. I love the smell of this. I think it smells so good. I mix it with lavender and I just fall asleep. <laughs> I also picked up a candle snuffer just because the gold, this brass gold color, I just think it definitely looks high end. Like you'd see this in a more high end home to have a little candle snuffer because I did not have one. I was just putting the lids back on top of the candle, but this I think would be really fun to use to, to <laughs> you know, snuff the candle out, but I'm always lighting candles, so that'll be handy. Okay, and then I got one of these, what are they, just the cable ties or the zip ties, whatever you want to call them. You get 60 in a pack. I picked these up, again, for projects. This retails for $35. I did not know to think about looking at their books at Dollar Tree. You guys, I found this book at Dollar Tree. Oh, I couldn't believe it. It is called Open Concept Apartments, and it literally has so many beautiful pictures of different apartments, just so you can get like design inspiration. But this would be a great coffee table book if you're into this type of thing, like I am looking at really high-end beautiful homes and just getting inspired to do something you know unique in my home so i love this i love this so much beautiful houses i mean they're just gorgeous but this would like give you a really good idea on how to like style shelving in your home if you have some shelves or something you can kind of look at what they did and kind of see what you have and mimic that type of style you know what i mean or you can like, oh, I really like this chair and maybe like see where, where the chair's from, save up money for it or find a dupe online, something similar. But yeah, I just love having books like this around for inspiration, but I did not know Dollar Tree had them and for a dollar, you cannot beat that. Look how thick this book is. <laughs> So many ideas in here. Love, love, love this. But then I had also picked up, I think this is my last item from Dollar Tree, this cute little uh, beach jar, I guess. Now this would be cute if you do a beach theme to fill it up with those little glass, um, the little glass stone pieces, you know what I'm talking about. Fill it up, put a little candle tea light on the top. That would be super cute. But I don't plan on doing a beach theme with this. I will be doing another DIY project with it. So I'm super excited to show you guys that. That is it for my haul video today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like for me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. You guys, I wanted to point this out. The one book from Five Below has the same symbol as the one from Dollar Tree. But they're different authors, like this one's Franz something, and this one's this person. So I'm just like, what?